Yoshi sources his rice from only one farm, and that is here at Ruin Forsman Ranch near Sacramento. Not only does Michael Bosworth grow about 10 varieties of rice, he also uses the farm as a haven for migratory birds. Growing up on a farm, you're always wanting to see how you can use what you're growing. What other applications are there? I mean, obviously we can make great sushi, we can make great Thai food, but you know, to make a beverage, we'd never done anything like that before. And so, you know, I'm always excited to collaborate with people that are passionate about food and Yoshi is definitely one of those people. And I think he has a great approach to making his sake and you know, it's just an exciting collaboration for us. What variety of rice do you grow for Yoshi? Because you have like 10 different varieties under cultivation. Yeah, that's right. So we, we grow a variety called Kalakari for Yoshi. It's a variety that was developed by the Rice Experiment Station, and it's a real great Japanese-type short grain variety that can be used for sushi and obviously now sake. Holds up well. It's got great flavor, great texture in the mouth, and you know, nice aroma. It's just you know, really delicious. So I was really struck by the partnership that you have with the Nature Conservancy to essentially act as a way station for migratory birds. How did all of that come about? They developed a pilot project, a pilot program, uh, man, it was five or six years ago. And uh, we participated in it. It's something that you know we thought had some real potential. What they did is they looked at you know, various timings of flooding a field and depth and kind of cultural practices, what you did after you harvested it with the straw and everything, and, and really looked at that and looked at the bird response, and they tracked that, and they were out here every day counting birds. And they came up with a great program that said, well, this is the way to do it, right? This is the timing that's the most important. This is the water depth that's the best for the birds. And this is the management from the farming side that's the best. And, and then they scaled that program up, and uh, we've been huge supporters of it ever since. So what kind of birds do you see here? All kind, I mean, there's obviously, you know, you're gonna have the traditional birds, ducks and geese and things like that, but when we started having lower water level uh, for the migratory birds, you get dowagers, you get sandpiper, you get avocets, um, stilts. Uh, so many different, uh, you know, shorebird species than, you know, I guess you would typically see. That's so cool. Yeah.